Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be playing with these glitter gel pots. Um, they are glitter glow-in-the-dark gel pots by Savyland. So I got these off Amazon and I will leave the link for you um, down below. So it comes with a um, satisfaction guaranteed card um, with how to get in contact with the company and then you get six gel pots. So on the bottom of the gel pots, it shows you what color it is before you, um, what color it is regularly, then it shows you the color that it is the glow in the dark color. And all of the containers come sealed. So I'm gonna open these up and start swatching for you. So the first color I'm swatching is SL01. That is Starry Firmament. Not sure what a firmament is, but that color is Starry Firmament. So I'm just going in um, on my swatch sticks, and I did do um, a base coat. I am using um, Savvy Lens base and top coat for my swatch sticks. So these, what I found out is all of these colors are um, exactly as pictured. So they're all clear and um when you're just swatching them regularly. So you can just swatch them over a color or you could just swatch them clear. I'll talk talk more about that in a little bit, but for right now, I just wanna go through the colors. So the second color that I'm swatching is called Stellar Night, and that is SL02. So the glow in the dark color on this one should be an orangey color. The third color is SL03, and that is Neon Starlit, and that should give you like a teal green um, glow color after, um, when the lights are off, when it's glowing in the dark. Okay guys, so this one is SL04 and that is Galaxy Queen. So this glow color should be an orange um, when the lights are off. The next one I'm gonna be doing is SL05 and that is Night Whisper. And SL05 should be a purple um, when the lights are off. Okay guys, so when I did my swatches, I kind of just did like a floating method, like if I was using a builder gel. So the consist, these aren't very sticky um, or stringy gels, so they move around pretty easily if you're using the floating method. The last color that I'm swatching is Glittering Night, and that is SL06, and that should give you a blue color um, once the lights are off, the blue glow color. So here's all of the swatches in the lamp as they're curing, and this is their glow effect. Okay, so now it's Thanksgiving morning. I've actually removed my set. My nails look terrible. Um, I'm gonna go in with a Sound Beauty top and base coat and poly gel in soft pink and a Yogi Builder gel in a bottle in clear. You'll see why in a few minutes. So I'm gonna do this whole nail in a glitter. So I wanted to use the Builder gel in a bottle to kind of give me a base when I'm removing the, um, the glitter. That way I don't have to um, leave any glitter on and I don't have to file all the way down to my natural nail. So the color that I'm using is SL03, that is Neon Starlit, and I'm using this as a builder gel just because I wanna make sure I get full coverage, so I'm just floating that down the nail. After I floated down the nail, the um, glitter, glow in the dark gel polish. After I float that down the nail, what I'm gonna do is encapsulate everything with the clear builder gel, builder gel in a bottle. 
The reason I'm using the Builder Gel in the bottle is because it is like 98% clear. It gives you the most clarity. Um, I do have the McCart Poly Gel, but it's kind of sticky. I still don't feel good. So I really didn't feel like dealing with a sticky poly gel. Um, I am kind of rushing through this design because it is Thanksgiving, um, the day that I'm recording, and I want to get dressed so I can kind of get the rest of my day started. I don't know why I decided to do my nails today. Um, was kind of a mistake because, like I said, I did kind of rush through these a little bit. And they honestly didn't come out as neat or... Um, shaped well as I normally like so these are just my um, natural nails um, I haven't um, had long nails I think it's been about like three weeks now so I'm actually gonna take these off and give me give myself some long nails again I am missing the long nails anyway so if you've noticed on the other nails I did kind of a cut out with the glitter gel polish the glow in the dark glitter gel polish and the poly gel and before i cure it i'm just getting the basic shape of the cutout i want so it's just a diagonal it's a straight line so it's pretty simple to do my brush was saturated with alcohol or you could use slip solution and then i just took off most of the poly gel where i'm gonna put the glitter gel polish um after i get pretty much the basic shape that I want. I am going to cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, on my pinky, I'm just doing the exact same thing I did on my middle finger, and that is putting down um, a layer of that builder gel in a bottle. That's just to protect my natural nail when I'm removing the product. And then I'm gonna float down some of this glitter gel polish, glitter glow in the dark gel polish down the nail, and I'm gonna cure that, and then I'm gonna encapsulate that with the builder gel in the bottle. I will do all my filing after I've encapsulated everything with the clear um, and I will that's coming up shortly. Okay, so now back to my pointer finger. I wanna clean up that line. I wanna make it as crisp as possible before I add the Glitter Glow in the Dark Gel Polish. So what I'm doing is I'm taking down some of the bulk that's at the tip of the nail. I'm shaping it just a little bit and then I'm just cleaning up that line. I did have a little bit of extra product, um, so I had to go in with my e-file and just a medium grit sanding band just to get that extra off because the hand file wasn't getting it. After I'm done with that, I'm going to add my base. I'm gonna clean off, I'm gonna dust off the nail, obviously. Then I'm gonna go in with a coat of the base coat, just in that open, that exposed area. I did a lot of filing and I probably filed off all the base coat that was already on the natural nail. So I do go in with the 
base coat. I'm sorry, train of thought. <laughs> I did lose it for a second. So I do go in with the base coat and then I put the glitter glow in the dark gel polish in that open area. Okay, so now here I'm just going in with a layer of the Yayogi Builder Gel in a bottle. This is color 005 and this is clear. So I'm kind of, I honestly don't always do this on my nails when I use colored poly gel. A lot of the times I just file the nail and um, put top coat on it. I don't know if that's the best way to go. So here I am doing the clear builder gel, the builder gel in a bottle on all of the nails. And so I have filed off camera, I have shaped off camera. This set is, um, it's cute. It w I think it would have been a little bit better had I taken just a little bit more time. I did um, rush through this set as it is Thanksgiving. I don't know why I decided to do my nails today. Um, like I said earlier, I'm still not 100% while I was recording this video, um, but I did wanna get my nails done and get my day started. So this is me using the two different products. Um, on the first hand, I did more cutouts and I did all of that off camera, but on this hand, I did do two full nails in the glitter gel polish I'm sorry, the Glitter Glow in the Dark Gel Polish by Sabilon. So here you see me top coating my the hand that I did do off camera. And you see there I did do more. I only did cutouts on this hand. Okay, normally this would be, um, the video would be over here, but so you know how I did the swatches and I just did them clear. So I realized that the bottom of these containers actually say luminous top coat. So these are actually toppers. And what I mean by that is they're supposed to go on top of another color. So I'm back. Um, <laughs> it's now Saturday morning and I'm just going to swatch them all over black. I went in, um, I'm using my swatch sticks. I use Savillan's base coat and um, just a black gel polish I have. It's by Azure Beauty. And then, um, so I'm just going over all of these doing a top coat. I do apologize for not being in frame the entirety of each swatch. Um, 
but yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know what's been going through my mind, but for some reason I was swatching and I'm like, okay, they're all similar colors. You know, it's not really a big deal. It just, you know, depends on what glow effect you want. So that's the whole purpose of it. And it never occurred to me that, duh, it says top coat. It never occurred to me, like, the pictures I saw when I ordered it, um, nothing. I was just out of my mind. So now I have swatches of them clear, and I have swatches of them over black as they're supposed to be used. And I literally did a whole set of these um, just using them on top of nothing. But, you know, it actually, the color that I used, it has more pink before, out of, the regular color the not glow color it does have more pink so it matches the poly gel um i mean they're cute so i don't think it was a total disaster um they still glow in the dark whether you use them as a topper or not and i will show you that um uh, towards the end of the video so right now i'm just going through all the colors again in the same order i went through them before starting with color um sy01 or SL01 and ending in SL06. I'm not gonna go through the color names again. If you missed anything, definitely rewind the video and start from the beginning and um, I do give the color names there. So again, just gonna go through and swatch all of these over the black and I will be back. Okay, so here are the colors in the lamp, and this is what they look like, the glow. They are a lot more vibrant in person. My camera really wasn't picking it up too well. So what I have here is them next to each other with the clear and then as a topper. I like the way that the glow effect looks as a clear. I feel like you get more of a... Um, a constant look it's not patchy so when I use them as a, a topper it, it was a little patchy the glow effects a little patchy and at the bottom these are um, my my nails <laughs> the nail design you saw me do earlier so at the bottom of the screen that's my actual nails that are glowing in the dark and um, yeah so these are cute um, I want to practice with them a little bit more to when I use them as a topper so that it's not as patchy when um, they glow and I do apologize my camera really wasn't picking up on how vibrant all of this was these glow really really well even on my hands I did this on Thursday the glow effect hasn't faded I'm not sure if that happens in real life but they still glow um, pretty well 
So all in all, I think this is a really cute kit. Um, this is probably a great gift idea for someone who's um, into nails, just learning or whatever. The pots are big enough so you can practice and play with it a little bit and kind of get your technique down. So um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I do appreciate all of the time you guys spend with me and I'm glad I'm feeling better and back to making videos. So I will be back to my regularly scheduled um, upload schedule of Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this, um, this glow in the dark glitter gel polish set. And did I already ask you guys to like, comment, share, and subscribe? If not, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And again, and always, thank you so much for watching.